What's going on everyone? This is your boy Ash the Man and thank you so much for tuning in. So we are here to talk about the God of High School Episode 3 Wisdom and Kingdom. So before we go ahead and get started, I just want to mention a couple of things real quick. One, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, follow, and hit that notification button and comment below and let me know what you guys thought about Episode 3. Now also before I jump into this re um, this episode review, um, if you go on Crunchyroll or VRV, you will definitely see that they did have a behind the scenes um episode that they added on to it not intentionally anything that's like really like core to the series but if you wanted to see like a little bit like behind the scenes you could definitely check it out honestly uh, i did pretty interesting fun to see never going wrong with that now let's talk about this episode three now if you seen of course you've seen episode two but with episode two you got a chance to see that jen interrupted a fight in which the fight was just going crazy oh boy was laying waste to my man's beating the crap out of him and it seemed like he was going to kill him honestly but i mean they said that you know definitely gonna happen they will always restore heal anybody and upon like any kind of damage as you've seen with the aftermath of episode one which they showed earlier episode two you got a chance to see that Jin uh, spine was damaged due to you you know kind of like breaking it when he took her wooden sword now fast forward and back to what he was talking about that Jin interrupted a fight in which any result him interrupting that leave two competitors wasted and that's kind of bad like honestly like when it comes to a tournament the worst thing you could do is interrupt the fight honestly no matter what the circumstances is you interrupted a fight two competitors is out that means that you know they have to make certain alterations to be able to like level out everything to the brackets now Jen has violated that and we got a chance to you know to see more of what Jen could do to it so eh, it was good i ain't gonna lie it was interesting seeing him throwing on three kicks and then my man hit the grounds and he was laid out but however a violation is a violation so they detain him and they figure out what would be the appropriate um, punishment he's going to be facing judge q now the green hair judge he didn't want to fight because he wanted to face the blonde hair judge in which it shows that he got knocked out when they gave him his invitation however the green claimed to be stronger than the blonde so he got excited dude punched him he jumped right back up so we could look for a more promising fight however before we talk about this fight let's give some fights out there because um old girl you end up facing a wrestler and her fight was very interesting because we got to see that she was pretty much getting handicapped like it, it just seems like that her wooden sword wasn't doing anything to the dresser but as soon as her sword knocked out was like oh you think that's my only sword watch me have a sword without the wooden sword she was like okay whatever and she used a swordless style interesting took her out and she won her match now how match was like a little bit more interesting because he was facing the dude who was reading the book and had the bat now predictable like since he's reading the book using the back he he has some ways of like knowing like what kind of styles people use so it made sense that you know he he will try to put han at a disadvantage but as the fight continued han started to more power him he started to do things that was abnormal and end up breaking out some of his styles and he won his match was definitely good interesting now let's move forward back over to jen now his match he tells everybody that you know hey look you know i'm about to face this judge and this commissioner um because of the fact that you know my violation if i win i get to proceed with the tournament now what's very interesting is that we got to see that um mojin which is the guy with the scar on his head he basically gave jen a bag of fruit to restore his energy but that's not what's his real purpose he put in a particular fruit that was locked up behind his door or grip was like you know it was way too early to give it out but due to who his grandfather is he pretty much is saying like he has to be like this particular type of guy you know maybe he's some type of chosen but however he gave him this fruit now after he ate this fruit you know jen trying to get his mat out trying to lay down and he started splitting out bud and you know passed out he wasn't even late to his fight it was very interesting and then like the fight went so quickly that even the crowd didn't like it like he pretty much took my man's glasses off and pushed him down he did it the most calmest way possible Judge Q did not like that. He was like, you know what? He started like, you know, spitting out that black malice and some type of like, 
how I'm going to say it, uh, some type of spirit clown with a scythe. He started fighting, and Jin instantly was overwhelmed. Like, and I guess it must be a true power that you know these commissioners slash judges have, because like Jin, he was doing his best to dodge it. That's all he could do. And then he tried to run up and try to provide some offense quickly. Got incapacitated. And he almost got hit until the other commissioners was holding Judge Q back in the Majin told him, hey, look, you lost them three months of pay, blah, blah, blah. You seen his face drop, kind of like calmed him down. And Mujin pretty much told him, like, hey, you won. Now, one now one thing that I do want to mention when the episode first started, you seen this weird cult that was praying to, like, some type of god or chosen or anything like that. Does this have anything to do with Majin ref um, referring to Jin as he gave him that fruit? I don't know, but we could definitely find out more as the episodes continue. And I think this is where we want to take a, you know, step back and be like, okay, this is where the episode is at. So, overall, episode was very interesting. Um, it was, it was a, it was overall a good episode but it was more interesting um say when it came to content wise because they actually provided us more with like a more of a description fight between han and um use fight we got to see more so as what's happening behind the scenes with this world coat that they presented to us in this anime and also mujin and his weird you know involvement in certain things so it definitely added a bit of a mystery. Um, they kind of threw that in there because, you know, not just wanted to just be all about fighting, which I agree, you know, stir up the pot a little bit and you definitely going to get a good reaction. As long as you do it the right way in which got high school is definitely doing it the right way. Very interesting, but the right way overall good episode but thank you again for definitely tuning into this um don't forget to leave a comment or what you guys thought about the episode that i definitely appreciate it other than that i am signing off you guys have a wonderful one bye